to Lexio Divina Reflections, Wednesday of the first week of Advent, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. In today's Gospel, Jesus invites two pairs of brothers to follow him. He first finds Peter and Andrew in the midst of their daily work, casting their net into the sea. Next, he sees James and John and calls them as they are mending their nets. Only God knows why Jesus chose these first apostles over others. What is clear is that he chose them from their very livelihood at work in the world, inviting them to work anew with their nets to draw people from the world into the kingdom of God. It's hard for me to imagine what God sees in me that makes me suited to witness to his truth. What does he see in me as he looks at me as he did Peter, Andrew, James, and John? Why is it that Jesus calls two at a time, brothers at that? The way of faith is meant to be done in solitude or in fellowship. God, help me comprehend what it means to say yes when Jesus says to me in the unfolding of the day, come after me. It raises fears that I am not all you believe me to be. You know how the day and its responsibilities overtake me to the point that I sometimes forget you. The lyrics from the song, Lord, when you came to the seashore, remind me that God is not looking for the smartest or most powerful. He's looking for me, whom he loved first. Lord, when you came to the seashore, you weren't seeking the wise or the wealthy, but only asking that I might follow. Let me have the grace, God, to hear your son throughout the day and respond to his call. Lord, I want to hear your voice today. This is your day, as in the Our Father, we pray that your will be done. I pray that you take my desire and longing to see you and make it suitable to accomplish your divine will. As the morning offering calls us to do, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. Give me the grace to hear your voice and follow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.